Hey everybody, real quick ministry update here. Um, just to let you know what's going on. Um, I have been studying extensively the whole issue of tattoos and tattooing. Um, what the Bible says about it, but also what science says about it, modern science. Um, both pros and cons, you know, the whole thing. I'm going to be coming out with a study here soon on it. The notes are done, just ready to... I have to get ready to do that probably today, Lord willing. I don't know what a day can bring forth. Um, Lord only knows. As an example, yesterday, I, was, I did the video, I showed the little tracker behind us and things, it wasn't a real expensive vehicle, we just wanted something, just a little beater type vehicle. And, uh, and I said, it's running great and everything, you know, well, spoke a little bit too soon because I went to get in it, we got all of our stuff loaded in it, ready to go to the office, got in it, dead, just nothing. It's got this cheap, you know, Chinese made, probably they're all Chinese made now, batteries, you know, for the vehicles. And it's got, you know, real low cold cranking amps or something, I guess. And uh, it's always been kind of a little, you know, but then sub-zero day yesterday, that just killed the thing. It would not start. Thankfully, I have my plow truck right over there. And I was able to get that pulled over and hook up, you know, jumper cables and get the vehicle started that way. But... We always joke about the made in China rule, you know, being that uh, it'll be good for two to three years and then it pretty much dies after that. Kind of like that uh, old shelter logic over there. We've only had that thing for about three years now and it started ripping apart and whatever. So we just had fun with it. We just took a, a knife, pocket knives, and we were cutting the holes in the thing. <laughs> Stupid thing. I bought a tarp, put that over top just to try to get it through last winter, which it did. But then the wind blowing and everything, it ripped it and it, it just fell down great was the fall of it uh so that has to be torn down and scrapped or something i don't know what i'm going to do with that thing uh but you know if it's made in china it'll last you for a few years and then it's done that's what we joke about but um so now i have to get a new battery for the uh, chevy tracker again not a huge expense but just annoying you know, just constantly having to deal with this type of little, these little things. And uh, some of it's just normal life. I get it. I'm not being persecuted all the time. Uh, like some people try to make it out that I say that stuff. I don't. But um, some of it's normal life. But some of it's just, a, you know, the devil's little little ways of just little thorns in the flesh to keep uh, me busy on things that uh, aren't necessarily all that important. But... Um, other people have let me know, Catholics actually let me know first, kind of funny, but then some of the brethren have been letting me know about this uh, Catholic Truth channel with uh, Brian Mercier, Mercier, uh, Mercier probably would be the original way to say it in, I guess it's a French name, M-E-R-C-I-E-R, -E -E and uh, they said he made a video, you know, exposing Born Again Barbarian, wouldn't say my name, of course, because you don't speak the name of a heretic. And, you know, I guess he doesn't have enough time to do that kind of research either, apparently. But uh, I'm probably going to be refuting what he said and whatever and showing, no, actually the Catholic Church does teach that you can become a god. And he actually showed the proof and then just kind of glossed over it, went on. But uh, I will be doing a video on that after the tattoo thing, I think, unless something else comes up. Uh, this lane is something else right now. It's, uh, if you can see that, it's rather icy very very slippery um but yeah that's those are the plans right now i still have the letters to answer i keep a number of you keep saying when are you, when are you? Yeah. can't talk right my mouth is a little cold uh it's right around zero degrees right now uh maybe about five degrees fahrenheit but uh so excuse me for my mouth not working correctly if you've been around real extreme cold you know that what i'm talking about um, but a lot of people have been saying, when are you, when are you going to get to my letter, brother? Can, when, when can you answer that? I'm trying, other things come up, other studies come up and things, and I'm trying to get back to it. So I still have that to do. Um, I'm going to be working on the, uh, proof that the King James Bible is divinely inspired study. Um, and, uh, going to be going through all the comments on that video reading and what people have to say and um looking forward to that 
I've only had a chance to just kind of glance quickly at some of the things that people have said. And uh, so I'm very anxious to, to see what all, what you've, you know, written. And, um, but there's a lot of other projects that we have coming up. But uh, if you could please just keep us in your prayers about the issue of uh, a house. Um, again, we're, we're really trying to restructure some things. We might move to a different area of Maine, maybe to another state. I'm not sure yet, uh, depending on how things go here with Wolfton and all that other stuff. Um, the mining company that wants to mine just north of us here. Hopefully they won't get their way. Doesn't look very good for them at this point, but you know, Masonic scheming can come in at any time and change plans. Um, not care what people think or whatever. And um, so, but we want to have a property where we can be there and work there and not have to be driving back and forth every day. It really cuts down on productivity. And, um, you know, plans change. I mean, we were going to do the whole off grid thing here, and we have done that. You know, since 2018, we've been off grid. So for five years, we've done that. We've saved a lot of money. Praise the Lord, we've learned a lot. Um, and it's not that I hate the off grid life, I don't. It's just that doing what I do for a living, um, it just makes it pretty tough. And, you know, again, let me just speak to that for a minute. Uh, 2018, there were a lot of threats on my channel. So I wasn't even sure I was going to be on YouTube. I was thinking maybe I'll go back to doing offline videos like I started out doing before I got into YouTube. I was doing offline stuff in 2007, got on YouTube in 2008, really didn't start doing anything until 2009. I put up some logging videos and fishing videos in 2008 just so I could have a channel. And, um, but I didn't really get into any kind of ministry videos until 2009. And that was only just a few videos that year. And then I started to really accelerate as time went by. Um, started to put more studies out there. So 2018, it was very unsure what my future was. So if you want to judge me and, oh, you you're just can't make up your mind, Brian. Well, no, I'm just trying to figure out what the Lord wants for us. You know, that's the whole thing. I bought this property because we got a really good deal on it. Offered a very low price. The Lord gave it to us. And I thought... Hey, we're going to be off-grid homesteaders and because you know the YouTube is going to shut me down and then I'm going to have all the time in the world to build my dream log cabin here and all the other stuff and then realizing oh we could actually have mining in the area that would destroy the aquifer and well that's kind of a problem destroy the you know be big trucks going all over the place dynamiting and everything you know don't really want to live in an area like that so it's been a gradual process, but right now where we're at is just saying, you know, even if, uh, you know, YouTube shuts me down, there's still going to be Rumble or some other video website. Again, go back to 2018. Was Rumble even around? I don't know. I think there was BitChute and there was Vimeo and a couple of others, but you know, they weren't doing a whole lot. And so uh, we're learning, we're growing. And uh, the website... Of course, the brother that makes the website did a really good job, professional website now, much better than the one I used to have. So the ministry is going places, but I need to be there, you know, more active. That's why it takes a long time for uh, videos to, to be done and everything. Um, you know, I have, you know, I mean, winter maintenance in Maine is a, can be a big thing. I mean, it can take many hours to clean out your lane and you know right there is my plow truck and it's got this goofy push plow thing on it's not a hydraulic or electronic or anything it just pushes forward and when you back up it flips down and and kind of pulls back and then it flips up again when you go forward which is nice because I don't have to worry about electric or uh, yeah electric stuff you know breaking or hydraulic fluid or anything leaking it works but, you know, the problem is it's just a little bit light because it's an aluminum plow blade. So it, it tends to ride up on top of the snow if you get a real wet, heavy snow. Dry powder stuff works great. But wet, heavy snows, it just rides up over it. And you get these, you know, my wife calls them moguls. You know, like skiing bumps like these mogul things. And, uh... My son's doing firewood over here. He's taking firewood from the 
scooching and going that way. Um, the old school bus here is what I'm saying. Um, <clears throat> but so that's my prayer request. If people could just pray about our uh, house search. Um, people are still in this insane mindset that houses are worth, you know, half a million dollars when they're only worth $50,000 or something. And the housing market, the housing bubbles crashing and all this other stuff. I hate to spend so much time on that stuff, but I have to study and see what's going on and whatever. So uh, anybody that says living out in the countryside is a boring life and there's nothing to do, boy, you, you don't quite get it. Uh, there's plenty of things to do when you live out in a place like this and and everything. So, okay, I'll quit rambling now. But uh, next up will be the tattoo sermon. The serious sin of tattooing. And it is a sin. I'm going to prove it conclusively. And if you have a tattoo, I want to turn you away from getting another one. And if you have no tattoos but you're thinking of getting one, I want to stop you from getting a tattoo because it's not just bad spiritually it's extremely bad physically and i'm going to be showing some very shocking information that i've never seen anybody talk about before um, and it's not just all bible stuff it's going to also be you know from science okay so trying to make my way across the icy lane without falling and smashing my camera and then next up after that, Lord willing, will be I'll answer this Catholic guy. And then uh, might get to the letters after that or, or to the perfection of the King James Bible thing. or I don't know what yet. We'll see what happens when that time comes. So see you in the upcoming study. And thank you to everybody out there for your prayers, for your donations. Um, really do appreciate that. I have a terrible time, again, trying to get back to everybody on that. Um, I wish that the Trinity was true and that I had three persons because I could sure use two other guys right now, <laughs> two other uh, persons of myself. But uh, alas, there's only one person. That's what I have to deal with. So see you in the upcoming videos.